Hi, welcome to Basic Public Speaking. I am Christy Thomas, your professor, and this video is just covering some different ways we can upload our videos. Now, I have, I've been teaching online public speaking for a couple of years now, and it is interesting, folks. So I'm glad that you're on this journey with me down the rabbit hole. With that being said, I will always create a home on Blackboard. This is where you can go and you can upload to Blackboard itself. Now, sometimes people have issues. Sometimes technology does not work because maybe it's the length of your video. Okay. So if you cannot get it uploaded to Blackboard, I will accept them via email. And my email is on the syllabus. It's csmith0867 at kctcs.edu. Yes, I know my name is Christy Thomas, and I know my email says csmith. That is my maiden name. And I was not married when I first started at ACTC. So you can look on the syllabus for my email address, and you can send them to me. Another route to go is that you can text me your speeches, and students have done that in the past. If they can't upload to Blackboard and they have issues with email, you can text it to me because you can. A lot of times, you can break it down and text it to me. Also noted, every speech that you do, introduce yourself at the beginning of the speech because it takes me a couple speeches. I have quite a few students to start associating faces, and if you get them sent to me via text, I won't store your number in my phone. So if you send me your text via, send me, your, excuse me, your speech via text, make sure you start with, hey, my name is Bilbo Baggins. Hey, this is Hermione Granger. You know, let me know who you are. I will not store your name or number into my phone because sometimes my kids get my phone and I'd hate for them to randomly text you or call you. And I find it's much easier that they don't do the randomness if I don't store numbers. So with that being said, let's get back to it. You can uh, upload it to Blackboard, you can send it to me email, or you can send it via text. I have had students in the past find me on social media on Facebook and send it via Facebook because sometimes it's easier to send the videos through um, direct message, and I'll accept it that way as well. But again, always remember to introduce yourself at, in the video before you get into the video. Not so much the first speech because it's an introductory speech, you're already introducing yourself, but every mini speech and main speech past the first one. Now, ways to record it. Sometimes your speech may only be a couple minutes and it's no big deal. Uploading's easy. You know, sending the information's easy. Now, the longer speeches, or especially when it comes to like the how-to speech, maybe you do it in parts, you can do um, edits. And sometimes you might have to break your speech down into multiple parts to send it to me. Just let me know, like, oh, hey, my speech is so long. It's coming in in, like, three parts. And be like, and I can let you know when I receive all the parts. Hey, I got three videos. Or, hey, I got three videos, but two of them are the same. So it seems like you're missing some information. I'm pretty good at going back and forth with you, making sure that we got everything ready to go and good to go. I've had students record videos, um via TikTok and send me the link. I've also had students, I do YouTube. I make my videos. I have a YouTube channel to start off with stuff with my kids, but now it's a lot, mainly just my school lessons. I upload to YouTube and then I provide the links on Blackboard for you all. I've had students in the past that have their own YouTube channels that upload their videos to YouTube and send me the link. That link can be provided on Blackboard, email, or my text messages. Um, like I said, I've had students do TikTok, I've had students do direct messaging. I'm, these are just different venues. So whatever you find easiest to work for you, go with it. I know technology can be a trip, <laughs> so to speak. It can be real fun. Um, and craziness happens. Now, last year, there was a crazy winter storm in February. If crazy weather happens, I'm not, and you have a due date coming up, I'm not going to be like, ah, I need that speech. Like, I'm very chill with, and lax and stuff like that. And I know that COVID is also on the rise again. So if for some reason you have got the flu or caught COVID or are super sick, I know sometimes when I get sick, I lose my voice. Let me know beforehand. Hey, you know, I know we have this coming up, but I just, I don't have the physical 
strength to get out of bed or I've lost my voice or this or that. Just, you know, shoot me an email or a text. So, folks, these are different ways that you can upload your speeches. Again, I'll always have a home on Blackboard for speeches and outlines and all that stuff. But you can there's multiple ways to get your speech into me. Um, all I ask is that for outlines and stuff, don't take a picture. Like, don't, don't write down your outline, take a picture and send it to me. You can type that up and email it to me or put it in the home at Blackboard. Um, with that being said, okay. So this was just a short video discussing that. If you guys have any questions or concerns, again, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, we'll chat it out. Um, when it comes closer to due date, so you don't freak out. Just contact me and we will chat it out and get it worked out. Because I know technology can be a pain and, you know, everything affects technology, weather or whatever the case may be. Internet may go out. You never know. So, again, just reach out to me. Email or text. We'll chat it out. We'll get it figured out. I hope that you all have an amazing week. Thanks. Bye.